Hi guys, I'm the Kids Planner, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a paper pinwheel, like this one. I think we need some help. <laughs> so what we're going to need is a coin, a thumbtack, a bottle of something to hold a piece in place, scissors, glue, a straw, two pieces of construction paper, one for the pinwheel, and one for our cutting out a little circle. This piece of paper is too big, so we're going to cut it in half. So, we're going to fold it like this in half and make a crease. We're going to unfold this piece of paper and we're going to cut it on that crease. So we're going to put one piece aside. So now we have to make this into a square. So how we do that is we fold this along the edge of the bottom and make it into a triangle type shape. Right there, and we make the crease, and we cut off the excess. And we put the excess aside. When you unfold it, you see that it's a perfect square, and that there's a crease running down the middle. So you need to also make one right here. So you have to fold it in the other direction, and make a crease. And now, when you open it, you can see that you have your two creases. And we're gonna to wanna to cut just past halfway on all of these creases. So now that we have our square, and now that we have our cuts, we're gonna put a dab of glue on one side of each piece, right there. We're gonna spin and put it on this side, spin again, and keep putting it on only that side. And there you have our four dots of glue. So now we gotta curl our corner pieces just past halfway towards the middle, and we're gonna keep doing that. Okay, so you wanna grab the little tip, curl it in and just pass halfway. And you want to turn it, but keep holding it just so that it doesn't fall apart. You want to do that just each corner, but you don't want to bend it, and it's not going to spin very well. You want to bend it. Well, not bend it. We want to curl it just so that you can Get the wind in there. And then last one. Oh, darn. You just gotta keep holding it, or that will happen. There. And if you bend it a little bit like I did here, you can push it in like just a little bit, not too hard. And then you hold it for a second. Then you want to grab your bottle and switch it out quickly with the middle piece and so that it will dry in the position you want it. So, you want to carefully move this to the side. And now, we're going to cut the circle to put on top from the other construction paper. And we're going to need our coin for this and our scissors. So, I like to cut out just a little square so it's easier to flip and turn around while cutting your circle. You're going to put your coin and you're going to do the outline of that coin. There, you have your circle. Put the coin aside and then you're going to cut out that circle with your scissors. You want to put some glue on the end, on the top, I mean, of your yellow square. I mean, yellow circle. <laughs> and you get it, fingertips, and you switch it with your bottle and then place it back on. We want to let this dry. You 
you want to let it dry for a couple hours. And we have one that's already dry. This one right here, with our yellow circle. So what we want to do is we want to get our straw and one thumbtack. I'm going to use the back of a notepad and you're going to put it on top just so you don't poke into your table. If you need someone older or a parent to do this for you, that's okay. So you want to put your pin in the center and push down. And pick it up a little bit and poke it through. A little bit hard. There you go, you got your thing. You want to wiggle it around just so that it will spin a little bit better when you are blowing on it. You want to get your straw. You want to poke your thumbtack into the straw all the way to the other side like that. You want to have a little bit of space between the straw and your pinwheel just so that it can spin correctly. So now you got your pinwheel. Make sure that you don't, if you're using a bending straw, use the bendy part on the bottom just so that your top of the pinwheel doesn't bend around. And you can make your pinwheel stronger if you have one chopstick and you can put it into your pinwheel. And now it's a little bit longer and if you want you could stick it in your garden or something like that. And there you have it. You got your pinwheel. I hope you like making the pinwheel with me. I know you're going to have a lot of fun with it. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the Kids Planner and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm going to show you how to make a paper pinwheel like this one. See? That was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it, it didn't even okay, move. Okay, try again. <laughs>